All right, so let's do this. Howdy guys, I'm Jason Lewis, and this time in the Auto Edits Garage, we're gonna be focusing in on some tips and tricks on how to keep the automotive finish part of your vehicle look and fly. Now we're gonna be focusing in primarily today with these touch-up paint pens I got from automotivetouchup.com. Uh, the reason I really am liking my discovery of these, I've been using paint pens for a while if you've been watching any of my upgrades, uh, but what I really like about this company is that I can now order the exact color for my vehicle at a decent price. It's really handy now, and I recommend that you just get one of these for each of the vehicles that you're in. So today we're gonna to focus in on a couple of areas here on the Tesla that need some attention, and we'll expand out to the Mustang and Jeep for a few little other tips, and I'm gonna show you how to heal some curb rash. Someone <clears throat> drove this into the curb uh, on the backside there, that was me. I, I'm gonna own that, and so it's up to me to make that look good. So this tip is gonna, for those of you with painted wheels, I'm gonna not only show you the exact color for the Tesla Performance wheel, but also you can use this technique. Go to automotivetouchup.com. You can find almost any paint to match. So you could find, if you have painted wheels, I'll show you a few techniques on how to ease the damage of the curb rash, put a little paint on there, and it, make, it blends it in, makes it almost go away. So let's get over to the shelf here. I'll show you what we're working with, and then we'll get digging on the car. All right, so I did get lost down the rabbit hole a little bit on the automotivetouchup.com website and started ordering crazy because it's just also uh, affordable when you think about what you're doing to your vehicle. I just said, oh, in the future, I'm gonna need this. So obviously this arrangement of paint pens, I have a primer, I have the base coat, the mid coat for the Tesla. Now, here's a quick reference. Now, these are from my wife's old Volkswagen that I bought these from the dealer. And this was like $50 worth of paint pens from Volkswagen. Now, I did find these online for somewhere near $30 each. Um, but here's the reference. So for the Tesla, when I went to Automotive Touch-Up, I found the two paint pens for the Tesla for 22 bucks. So you're saving a little bit. The Jeep pen here, 12 bucks. So it's not really expensive and it's nice to just have this ability to go out there and just touch up little things. And then I went ahead and ordered some of the extra stuff. So now I have little, like, you know, the, the two ounce jars of the touch up paint. I have some rubbing compound. This is nice to have once you get more advanced into some other things. Some surface prep stuff, and then some different spray things that we'll get into later. But then I also ordered <laughs> some uh, wet sand, wet dry sandpaper. I'll show you the basic principles of using that stuff. And then some uh, basic tape and things like that. It just went crazy because I was like, oh, hey, oh, I, I, I'm out of that. So I just started, it had everything on the website, so I got it all. So let's get back over to the Tesla. Let me show you the two areas that we're gonna deal with and how we're gonna attack those problems. All right, so here's the offending curb damage that I caused to this wheel right here. Now this was on the front when I actually did that. This has just been rotated. Um, and you know, it's not a terrible one. This one, it's got some texture from the curb and some gouging in there that we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull it off and put it on the workbench so it'll just be easier for you guys to see what I do here. But I'm gonna use a little bit of sandpaper to smooth that out and then use, this is the pen right here. And I'll put this code for you Tesla owners who have the performance package wheels. This is the code right here to the exact wheel color. Now this is the area in the front that we're gonna address today. Now this is not an ideal scenario for just brush touch up type scenario because there are some scratches. It's not just simple rock chips. We're, we're gonna do our best. Uh, this, this lends itself towards maybe a spray out, like doing some actual sanding and feathering and filling and spraying. But since I, there's no real clear area to, to just, a lot of cars have body seams that you can hide a blend. I don't wanna do a blend here. I just wanna just get these bits of plastic that are showing through to just be body color again. And then plus this is a Tesla 3 um, early, uh, early to mid 2019 run where they had some, they suffered from some production issues. Um, and you can see, and I don't know if you can see, but the clear coat on this is fogged in super thin on this. So it's gonna be tricky to match this. You're not gonna expect, have your realistic expectations here. Uh, we're just gonna get it close. Now, since I just barely brushed the curb here, it's just, it's basically scratched the paint. It has definitely changed the shape and cut into the edge of the rim a little bit. So, you know, I'm not gonna worry about that too much, but we're gonna start with a little bit of sandpaper to take 
the, just the evil off of the ridges here. Now, with sandpaper and paint, you kind of want to always sneak up on it. Start with a, a grit that's uh, finer than you think. So I'm going to start with a 320 dry for now, and we're just going to lightly go across that and just see if that's going to take the ridges out of this stuff. And you know what? It's doing pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with where we've gotten with the 320. Now I'm going to jump up to the 600 here and just go over it with the 600 to take some of the 320 grit out of it. And that's the basics of using sandpaper on finish work, on paint. It's roughing it up and then undoing the scratches with a continually finer grit. So you'll just move your way up the chart from 320, 600, 800, 1,000, something in there. We'll see. Since the wheels don't have to have a similar, like the same finish as the paint do. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit that with the 600. And it's looking really good. So now I'm pretty happy with the surface here. Uh, again, it's not perfect. It's, we're not going, I'm not gonna go ahead and take this all the way down. You can take a Dremel and just really go crazy here. I just want this to be better than this and not, and show you how easy this can be. So now it's time to get cleaned up and ready to paint. So that's where I'm gonna use the prep solvent here, clean rag, spray here, get any grease, oil, finger oil, stuff like that. Spray this, don't forget to get this on your hands. You could do that as well. Keep fingerprints off. I did order some of the night, the actual gloves down there. So I have that for when we do the serious stuff, but right now I think we're good. So that gets us a nice clean surface for the paint to stick to. And let's get going. Make sure to shake up your pen really good. And then when your pen's brand new, if you're new to these things, what you do is you just take now these, this comes with the, the kit, the automotive touch-up kit comes with these cool little spray out cards and these are just handy to just make sure that you have, that you're using the right colors or that things are gonna match. So I, what you just do is you just dab like this until you get the actual tip of this thing loaded with paint and ready to go. So I think we're good. So let's go through and lay our first coat. Now, now is not the time to rush with this stuff. So I'm just gonna start dabbing all the way down and just do a nice generous coat. So now it's time to just be patient. Let that set up for a good half hour. It's a really hot day today here. <laughs> you can tell I'm sweating. Um, so it'll cure a little bit faster, but give it a good 30 minutes. You don't want it tacky because what it'll do is it just turns to kind of a mucky the next layer. So you really want it to, to dry. So patience is your friend right here. So what we'll do is we'll move to the front and start doing our first layer up there. Now, while the first coat is drying on the wheel, we're gonna go ahead and get started over here and we'll kind of tag team off on these things. So now you wanna take your surface prep and just take any of the wax and grease or fingerprints and all of the things that would inhibit paint adhesion off here. So clean rag, prep solvent, we'll wipe this down. So we'll get started with the base coat and they make it pretty easy on these pens that you could see step one, step two. So step one is going to be the base coat. So shake up your pen really good and we'll dig in. So there you go. You can see the paint is on the pen. Now be careful not to do, if you notice that last thing, I was a little too aggressive and I had a little blurp, little burp of paint out of there. So you want to make sure that you get that done here on your card before you get up to your card. And then we'll just get going in filling up the base of these things. And again, take your time here. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep going here. So now we're gonna let that dry. We'll get back up there, put our second coat on the wheel, and then we'll come back through with our mid coat, which is, has the metallic in it. And then hopefully that'll blend that in a little bit more. It's looking like two coats might just do this. So we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of this rubbing compound, make it look really nice. We may even uh, tickle it with some 1500 grit sandpaper, but that'll be a fun little lesson in a minute. So let's let that dry and get our mid coat on the front. Give it a good shake. And blot. 
to perfection. Looking good. I see the right amount on the tip. Here we go. So let's get in here. And we'll just start putting a little bit of this on top of all of these. The pen works perfect for all of these little guys here. Just gonna add a little bit of mid coat to start blending. Wow, it's, it's looking pretty blendy already. I mean, again, we're, n we're not striving for absolute perfection here. Um, that's another video for when we actually do a spray out and, and do a full cleanup. This is just to kind of clean this up, make it way better than it was. It already is, just not having those black gashes uh, shooting across there. So we'll let that dry. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the wheel back on and uh, finish that part up, but yeah. It's looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and finish this thing off. Now what I'm going to do, just to take some of the evil out of it, it ain't perfect. Remember, we, we could have gone farther with the original sanding. But what I'm going to do now is show you guys, I'm going to take a piece of the 1500 sandpaper here. Now this can be used wet or dry, but just to take it easy and be very gentle on this, since we don't want to ruin any of the other paint around this, we're going to use it wet. So I'm just going to do a little spray in there, spray my paper down and then just go along the edge here just to kind of smooth out the transition between the brush paint and the paint on the wheel, the spray paint on the wheel, and just finish it off. Just make it look nice. Now what we'll do is we'll take a nice clean rag to finish this off and a little bit of the Automotive Touch-Up rubbing compound. I really like this stuff. And We'll just go ahead and just get that applied all the way across in the area that we're gonna be working on. Just get it touched in here. So now we're just taking a final pass, making a final pass at it, just taking out any of the sand scratches. Boy, does it look so much better. Just finish that off with a little rubbing compound. Ooh, it actually looks really, really good. Pretty happy with that. All right, so I planned wrong today. Even though it's really hot out here, there's a little bit of humidity, so this stuff's just not drying. So I'm gonna let it sit overnight with this second coat of mid coat on here before we put the clear coat on tomorrow. So take your time. This is just one of those moments where I could rush and try, but I don't wanna ruin it. But it's looking pretty good, and we'll see you in the morning. I'm glad you came out for a few minutes to hang out. Well, there you have it. It's even hotter today than it was yesterday, but Pinto decided to hang out with us out front for a few minutes. So where we left off last night was letting the mid coat dry. So now we're gonna go back in and we're gonna do a mixture of clear coat with our brush paint pen and a little bit of this. As you can see it right now, it's as I kind of explained and expected. All of the spots, look great. Some of this stuff down here is literally blending in already. And then these big gashes that should have been a bigger repair uh, look, well, they're not black, but they're not right. So they're not like going away. I knew that and I was trying to explain that to you guys. So when you guys go into the comments and say, I can still say, I know, we'll do a spray out later. I have a really, a perfect one uh, for a spray repair later. Let's dab this out. This is our clear coat pen. Oop, we have a little blob there and that's why you dab there first. And so we'll go in here and apply the clear to the top of all of these little spots here. And if you can see in this camera angle here, you can see that that just helps blend a little bit. And then we'll come back through in a minute once this clear dries, and we, so we may do a little bit of finish work here. As you can see, all of, the, all of this peppered stuff down here is blending in beautifully, and that's kind of exactly what I was hoping, is that stuff. This was a, a Hail Mary, just to get it so it's at least bumper color or vehicle color now. We'll, we'll again, we'll fix that later, but uh, again, look at that. That is looking fantastic down there. This is what I'm recommending for this. Now, while we let this dry, I'm gonna get all the clear on all this. Let's move over to the Jeep and I'll show you how easy this is on a single stage color, which just means a base coat clear coat like on the Jeep and why the paint pens really come in handy on vehicles like that. Now, 
like I said earlier in this piece, these things are key for a lot of vehicles, especially as Jeepers, because we're, we put ourselves into positions where we scratch and nick and brush scratches and rock chips happen a lot more. Um, and these things, I just periodically every month or so just literally walk around the Jeep and dab along. Now here's a good example of the old paint pen that I had that didn't quite match and that we're gonna test this color and here's also a new little scratch here. So we're just gonna dab, remember, dab is the key. As soon as you're past the dab, you're in trouble. Now we're gonna overlap a little bit because of the old paint color because I was a little too generous with that. I guess I should remind you that to wipe it down first, you can see I have my cleaning prep solvent there. And then just dab that. And we'll just dab up here to this old spot. And I can just tell already that this color is a much closer match to the original paint. And the cool thing in my situation is, is that this color is the exact color that's on the Mustang. So I'll be able to actually do some paint touch up work on that. There you go. Holy mackerel, that looks really good right out of the, right off the pen. All right, so we got this. We'll hit it with a little bit of prep spray just to clean it, make sure there's no grease on there. And then again, just dab away. Voila, done. So there you go, final touch up of some speed wax. And I'm actually impressed. The small stuff, all of the little chips came out fantastic. They look a little bit better than I expected. Now the big gashes here, those definitely need to be sprayed. This brush touch for that is not the right way to go. You can see, you could still see them, but it's better than just having a black gash there where those things were. So we at least have a little bit of an improvement there. Now the other thing I hope you learn is that these paint pens, are handy for whatever vehicle you have. It's like the Jeep. I just have a couple of these things now. One lives in the glove box, run around every once in a while, touch it up. These things have been really great. So hopefully you learn a few things. Uh, we got some other projects and other paint things on other vehicles here to work on. Even the Jeep, I'm gonna do the wheel wells in the back with the black spray just to show you guys that in the future. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, enjoy your drive.